Oh man, look at this. Look at this. Oh man. Oh my god. This is so good. Come on, you gotta stick around and watch this video. This is out of this world. This is unbelievable. Meat lasagna. This is something that you're gonna love to try and eat, so hang out. Hey everybody, how we doing tonight? Um, I'm having a great weekend. I Hopefully you are too. Hopefully you're having a great night. Hopefully uh, everything is going well. Um, I know there's a big snowstorm going on in the East Coast, so hopefully everybody's staying uh, well and, and healthy and uh, hopefully staying warm. So. Um, so I want to welcome you guys. If you're new to the channel, um, welcome, welcome, welcome. So um, this channel is all about helping others and uh, trying to motivate folks to... Uh, to get healthy, right? Lose weight, get into shape, um, cut down your medications, get rid of your medications, um, anything that, that can come from you getting healthy, right? So that's what this channel is all about. So, hey, we're trying to do three videos a week. Some week we do others. Right now we're kind of playing around with the time frames and stuff because we are doing some what we call, I call premieres, right? So that means you can actually chat with me um, while your the video is released and coming on. So if you're, if you're interested in, see those premieres. Come on over and chat with me and uh, ask me some questions or, or watch the video and ask me questions while the video is going live. So that's, uh, that would be really, really super cool. So um, I'm really enjoying it. Um, I like the interaction. Um, so it would really be great that the bigger the merrier, the bigger the, the crowd, the merrier it is because the more questions and the more opinions you get. Because I'm no doctor, I'm no nutritionist, I'm no medical professional, so I'm going to give you what my opinion of what works for me and what's worked in my research and, and things that I've found out, but uh, I would suggest you do your own research and you decide for yourself. So um, so anyway, hopefully uh, you give it a thumbs up, hopefully uh, subscribe down below, hopefully you hit that little bell icon, that would be really, really super, that would be really, really helpful to me. Um, it tells uh, YouTube that... Uh, you know, folks are liking the material and liking this stuff, and it helps me keep coming back more and more as well. So um, I really enjoy it. you guys, your returning subscribers. You guys motivate me. You keep me inspired. You really do. So um, I really, really appreciate everyone um, of you. And there's some that that talk with me almost every day. And in that moment, I would talk about uh, giving a shout out to. So um, Mike over at Keyterrific Journey. He's kind of comments on almost all my videos. Um, he was on the live on the chat today with us. Um, at will with some other folks so um, I just want to give him a big shout out I will put a, a link to his uh, channel then the description down below so go down there and show him he's a, he's a, a newcomer to YouTube he's been around for a little while um, his channel's growing um, but it'd be nice to, to go over there and give him some love um, and uh, you know really show him that the uh, the, the, the keto fitness uh, nation uh, of folks out here can really help each other to grow and, and you know show and spread our love so um so go down there and show them that love so that would really really be beneficial and helpful so um so today we're gonna do something a little different so generally i kind of cook a lot of uh desserts and or breakfast dinners or or kind of i i would just say more desserts or treats or stuff like that so today we're going to do more of a dinner recipe so um this actually comes from a video from uh, AD Keto, um, and uh, if you don't know, um, he's, he's kind of a, he says he's a weird dad that's just doing YouTube, so um, doing keto, and he's actually kind of shifted over more towards a carnivore style of eating, and I think everybody's, over time, like I've been doing this for over four years now, and my diet has really shifted a lot from where I started to where I am today, so, um, and I think like when I see him doing the same thing, he's kind of shifted his diet around a little bit as well. So, so I think, you know, as, as you learn more and try different things and you find things that like you like and things you don't like, so you kind of adjust to them, right? So, so this is kind of something I spin off off of his. It's not an exact copy, but it's a spin off off of his. So that's what we're going to start doing. So, so today we are going to make a meat lasagna, right? So no noodles involved with this at all. So I've made, I've made uh, other lasagnas. I've made flathead dough lasagnas, um, and I've made some other ones. Um, this will be the first time I've ever made a meat lasagna. Um, I make a meat, uh, I make a meat pizza. So this is going to be kind of in that realm. So um, if you're a carnivore person or and or carnivore-ish, keto carnivore type of person this may be something really good for you 
because of the high quantities of meat, no noodles and stuff like that, it's actually really, really low carb. Um, you know, the, the carbs are going to come from uh, from the cheeses and, and from the spaghetti sauce, right? So, um, but it's, it's really, really cool. So hopefully you stick around because I'll tell you, this is a great recipe and I think you're really, really going to like it. So I'm going to go over it. I'm going to adjust the camera down here um, and then we'll kind of come back with the second piece of this and we'll actually show you how to make this thing. It's not that hard. So it's a pretty easy recipe to do. So, um, so let's fix the camera. All right, so we're back. So this is just a, some ground beef. This happens to be two pounds of ground beef that I, I browned up. I did season it. I put in some salt and some pepper in it, and I, I put in some garlic powder and some onion powder and stuff like that. I, I, it's pretty simple to do, so I didn't film that part, so I'm assuming that you can really easily duplicate that part. So I'm gonna put it in a bowl though, and, and I put it in this because it makes it easier to, to drain get all the fat and water out of it and everything else so, so I'm going to put it in another bowl here uh, maybe I should have used a bigger bowl it's a taste test so then we're going to put in about a half a cup of uh, I'm actually we went to Costco today. They didn't have any Raz, so, um, but they did have this Victoria organic marinara. And I will tell you that the ingredients are pretty clean on it, right? So it's just tomatoes, uh, onions, uh, uh, organic onions, organic extra olive oil, sea salt, organic garlic, basil. So it's really, really pretty clean. It's only uh, five, see that, five total carbs. Two fibers, so that means it's only uh, three net carbs if you're tracking net carbs. So I'm gonna mix it up a little bit before I open it. So I'm just gonna put a, a half a cup of that into the meat just to mix up it with the meat. Hopefully, this bowl's big enough to, to handle it. And you're gonna see I'm gonna make a mess on the counter, so that's just that's par for course for me, so. And that's really just to get some of the flavoring from from the spaghetti sauce in mixed in with the meat and stuff, so. You know, if you think you want to more, put more sauce in there, you can. That's really up to you. I actually think I'm going to put a little bit more in there. Just because it doesn't look like there's very much in there. So then we're going to mix this up. We're going to set this aside. This is going to be the meat for our lasagna. We're going to set this aside. And I think I'm going to wipe this all down. So give me a second and I'll come right back and we're going to do the next segment. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take some ricotta cheese. We're actually going to put that in this bowl. Another spoon. And we're going to put this into our pan. And we're going to mix this in. I actually got another one. I'm actually going to throw this in because I'm going to make this a little, probably a little thicker than, than normal. Again, the recipe calls for one cup. Um, I'll put the recipe down below too so that you can kind of look at it. Um, you want a copy of it. Uh, this is a good meal prepping thing as well. So, All right, get our cheese in there. We're gonna pop one egg. One egg with it. We're gonna put in some spices. I'm gonna put a little bit of uh, 
This is garlic powder. Now you can put whatever spices you want in it. Here's some black pepper. There's some salt. I love salt, and you can't get enough salt when you're doing keto, I'll tell you that. All right. Some onion powder. I put in just a touch, tiny bit. You've seen me, and this is cayenne pepper. Um, just because you know that I like it a little bit spicy. I'm going to keep it on the mild side, but just a little bit of bites. And this is a, a couple of crushed red peppers I'm going to throw into it. I'm going to mix this all up. We're also going to make some protein sparing modified bread to go along with this because that's going to be some really nice bread that we're going to make to go with it. So it just makes a really, really good meal. Plus it's something that we can eat during the week. So. All right, so this is done. So I'm going to set this aside. And the next thing we're going to do over here is we're going to take our uh, 9 by 13 pan. Uh, I'm going to move something out of the way here. This is my 9 by 13 pan. Uh, and then I got to take, <laughs> boy, you would think that I would just get enough spoons out that you know, I have a spoon for everything. So. But where I'm going to put a little layer of uh, spaghetti sauce on the bottom. So tell me, do you think the, the doing the premieres and actually watching the videos and chatting while the videos are going on, is it worthwhile or is it having fun? I know I'm having fun, but so we're going to take that, we're going to put that across there. And then we're going to take some turkey breast. So I'm using some of this uh, um, Dits and Watson turkey breast. It, um, it actually has zero carbs in it. it um, has a half a gram of fat per serving in it, um, uh, protein in it is 11 grams per serving. So um, pretty good stuff. It's really, really clean. The ingredients are just organic turkey breast water containing less than sea salt and vinegar. No salt in it, no anything else in it. So very, very clean, very, very good. So this is my preferred type of uh, uh, turkey breast. So there's our layer of that. Um, then we're going to take and do some provolone cheese. And do a layer, a layer, a layer of provolone cheese. Oh, and there's my oven. So I've got my pre oven preheated to 400 degrees. So that's one of the things I usually forget. So this time I'm trying to do it a little bit better and trying to be a little more proactive even though I know I'm, I know I'm forgetting things and that's just me um, all right so that's on there now um, let's see oh oh the pepperoni oh I forgot the pepperoni So we're going to throw some pepperoni down here. We go through pepperoni a lot, it seems like, lately. We've made several different pizzas lately. and um, Not that we've done videos on them, but 
We seem to be making them all pretty frequently lately because it's just kind of a nice thing to do. And if you haven't seen us make any of the pizzas, go check out some of the videos we have. We've made them with chaffles. We've made them two or three different ways with chaffles. We made them, I don't know, I'd say the chicken cross. We've done it in a number of different ways, so. All right, so we're gonna do that. Um, and then we're gonna take, next we're gonna take the beef and we're gonna put some of the beef on here. And we're gonna use about half of it, right? How's everybody doing beef butter and bacon for, for the month of February? It seems like a lot of people are doing it, so. All right, and then we're gonna start repeating this all over again. We're gonna put another layer of turkey breast down. That oh, I need another. I thought I'd have enough in one package, but all right. So then we're gonna kind of start going all over again. So. Um, after we did that, we put the provolone cheese on. I'm losing myself, so. <laughs> Jeez. I love provolone cheese, so. I'm a big fan, so. Oh, I forgot one layer here. You know what? I forgot something. I'm going to actually rescind this. I'm going to pull this back a little bit. And we're going to pull this out for a minute because I forgot one thing I got to put on here. See, I told you I was going to forget something. So... Mozzarella cheese. Can you open it? Okay. All right, that's one layer. Now we're going to do the second layer. Here's the turkey breast again. I think good thing I caught that before the end, right? So I love uh, mozzarella. Then I'm gonna do the provolone. some pepperoni yeah, I don't think there's anything in this that I don't love and I don't like and I'm not looking forward to eating so um.
again you can put as much as you want on here or as little as you want on here um, you know the seasonings that you put into the meats and the cheeses and everything else that's all up to you and how you want to do it and how you want to mix it and everything else so then we're going to take this and we're going to put the rest of the uh, the ricotta on here We're going to kind of dab it, I guess. I don't know why they call it. What they call it? Dabbing or dipping it or... ricotta cheese on here than, than the recipe calls for just because I knew I was going to love it and I, I really like it. Um, so, you know, um, and then we're going to put the, the meat on here. that meat around a little bit all right that looks pretty good and then we're going to cover it with more mozzarella oh we're actually going to put some sauce oh, we're gonna put some It's a good thing my wife doesn't complain about how messy I make her kitchen. I'll tell you. <laughs> All right, so that's the meat lasagna right there. I know, I'm making a mess. Um, I'm actually going to take a piece of foil and cover it with foil, and we're going to pop it in the oven for 35 to 40 minutes. So let me grab the foil. So it's covered. We're going to pop this thing in the oven here. Um, pull it up so you can see the oven, I guess. Oh, maybe not. There we go. Move it around so you can see the oven. There it goes. All right, so um, I'm gonna bring the camera all the way up so you can see me. I know how much you wanna look forward to it. I gotta get a better knob on this camera, so, and the, and the tripod, so. Um, but hopefully uh, everything comes out good. I know it will come out good, so. Um, I'm gonna clean up my mess now. We'll come back in about, uh, like I said, 30 minutes. Um, we're gonna have to uncover it and then let it bake for the last uh, five minutes or so to melt all the cheese and get the cheese nice and brown on the top and stuff. So um, so I'm gonna clean up my mess here. Um, so, because I got cheese and meat and everything all over the place. And we'll come back and see what the, what, what the product looks like in about two seconds. So it just came out of the oven, um, we did 30 minutes in the oven, then we took the foil off. I also put a pan underneath it because of the fact that it was kind of dripping over a little bit. I think the pepperoni and stuff actually, a lot of the grease and stuff from the pepperoni kind of comes out of it a little bit. Um, sorry, holding the remote for the <laughs> for the camera in my hand. <laughs> um, so I'll show you what it looks like um, and kind of come over 
You can kind of see down on it. Looks pretty good. Um, I'm very, very happy with the way it looks. Um, so, so now we have to let it sit for about 30 minutes to cool down to room temperature, and then we're gonna have dinner. We're having a late dinner tonight. We also took, and I'll show you down here as well. I don't know whether you can see it or not, but the tripod. Uh, but there's a uh, protein sparing modified bread going on in there as well. It's a garlic bread, so um, so we're gonna have a piece of garlic bread with the uh, with the lasagna. So hopefully it's a great dinner. So hopefully uh, you you like it. You're sticking around. You'll uh, you know hang out and. I'm gonna, I'm, the camera is down here at an angle, so <laughs> I'm going to scrunch down. So uh, hopefully you like it. Hopefully you get a thumbs up. Hopefully you'll subscribe. Hit that little bell icon. That would be greatly appreciated. We're going to come back here in about, uh, well, in, in virtual land in a couple of seconds, but um, in about 30 minutes, and uh, we'll cut into it and give it a taste test and see how it goes. So, um, so hang around, and let's see how we do. This is... Um, Looking pretty good. I'm, I'm thinking it's going to be pretty yummy. So, uh, you know, stick around. All right, we're back for my favorite time. So it's time for the taste test. So we're going to cut into this little little thing and uh, give it a try. Set this here. All right, let's give it a try. Oh man, this is. This is a home run. I would call this a home run. So I don't know if you're a baseball fan or or whatever, but this is uh, <laughs> this is really really good. So um, just talk about this a little bit. So a serving size um, on this here, the macros how it breaks down um, would be that um, it's about 630 calories uh, per serving. Works out to be about 4.3 total carbs on this so the carbs on this the carbs are we you know the calorie counts hard is really really low so so if you track total carbs man this is a win for you um and then the protein on it is uh 52 um the fat on it is 52 the saturated fat on it i'm going to that so the fiber in it is one and the uh, the net carbs in it is 3.3 uh, so this is oh, this is a win, so I will tell you this is this is unbelievable. Huh? So hey, if you try it, let me know what you think. Um, I think it's a win. Um, it's really really good. I will tell you that the pepperoni, um, because you go in there, um, I think when it's cooking, it, it emits some grease on it, so maybe. Go light on the, the pepperoni, um, less than what I did. Um, but uh, this is something that's definitely worth making. I will make it again. Um, if you have somebody that tries this, they will never know that it's not a real lasagna. I will tell you that right now. It's probably better than most that I've had. So um, this is really, really good. So this will be my go-to lasagna going forward versus having noodles or doing the flathead dough, flathead, yeah, flathead dough noodles or or anything else so this is this meat lasagna is just out of this world so um, hopefully you like the video um, 
you know, hopefully you give it a thumbs up. You hit that little subscribe button, hit that little bell icon. Go down below. I'll put the recipe down below. So go down below, check it out. Um, if you make it, let me know what you think of it. Um, this was really, really good. Great meal prep and so because we will eat this probably for the next two or three days. Um, I will have a couple of meals out of it during the week. Um, so this is a great meal prepping uh, um, food that, that you can make really easy, really simple. It takes a little while to make, but it's pretty actually pretty easy to throw together. It just takes 30 minutes to bake, and then you got to let it cool for 30 minutes. So just give yourself a little bit of time, right? So, um, but it's a great meal prepping um, food. So again, we'll make we'll have this for several meals. We end up may end up freezing some of it just because of the fact that we may not be able to eat all of it this week. So, um, hey, you guys, you guys are awesome. You guys are great. Um, we're gonna go eat this dinner. We also have a bread in the oven that's about ready to come out um, to go with this. So we're going to go eat dinner. And uh, hey, remember you guys are awesome. Don't forget to check out this video and that video and that video. So, all right, I will talk to you later. Have a great day.